Hey friends! My name is Desiree, aka Mama Friendly. I do all sorts of videos on my channel, cooking videos, vlogs, hauls, Disney content, a little bit of everything. So if any of that sounds like fun to you, I hope that you will subscribe and join me on my YouTube adventure. Today's video is a collab. It's actually a monthly collab hosted by Christie's Farmhouse and I'm Merely Melissa. I'm gonna have both their channels linked down below along with a link to the playlist so that once you finished watching my video, you can see what all my friends made this month too. Before we go any further, I want to remind you that this is a real household, real kitchen, real family lives here, etc. So kiddo is having a snack in the next room. <laughs> He's watching his video on his iPad. You're gonna hear background noise. Hopefully that's okay. In any case, the theme for this month's collab is brunch, Sunday brunch. And in case you're new here, hi, welcome. In case you're an old friend, you already know, I eat exclusively gluten and dairy free. Now when I think of brunch, if you're not going out and getting bottomless mimosas, you're probably going to go over to somebody's house and I'm thinking maybe it's gonna be potluck style, everybody's gonna bring a dish, right? Now because I eat gluten and dairy free, I'm kind of used to having to fend for myself and um, I've learned not to just cross my fingers and hope that there's something at any given place I can eat, especially if a situation calls for bringing your own dish. I'm gonna make sure to bring something that I can eat, but that's also going to be tasty for everybody else that might not have dietary restrictions. So in the spirit of that, this recipe is like, ridiculously easy, absurdly easy even, but all the more reason to include it in your next Sunday brunch spread because it's something that most people can eat, it's gonna take you no time at all to put it together, and being able to have everyone feel included is priceless. Trust me, I know. So we're going to be making prosciutto egg cups today, and again, these are just almost insultingly simple to make, but the cool thing about that is that they're also really versatile. You can change things around a little bit, you can use different proteins if you want, you could try out different veggies, you can season with different herbs or no herbs at all. Maybe you wanna just put the herbs and seasonings out on the table and let people season to their own liking, that's always nice. These also make a great meal prep option in case you wanna make them for yourself at the beginning of the week or over the weekend and just kind of keep them to eat for the next few days. You can pop them into a preheated 300 degree oven for five to six minutes to heat them up or you can put them in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds and you can just eat them throughout the course of a week. And this recipe is also really, really easy. I'm, I'm running out of ways to tell you how easy this is. It's really easy to double or even triple if you're expecting a crowd. Now before I jump into it and show you my ingredients and everything, I do want to let you know that I also have a ton of breakfast and brunch recipes on my channel right up here. I'll be putting a playlist, I'll also kind of have them sprinkled throughout the video if you look up in that corner, but I have French toast bakes, I have a chorizo and hash brown like casserole that's completely Whole30 and is it's to die for, it's so good. We've got sheep pan pancakes on my channel, all sorts of stuff. So again, keep your eyes peeled up here for some more allergy friendly ideas. So the first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 375. So if you hear some clicking in the background, that's my oven doing its thing. I'm gonna use some avocado oil spray. I'm using a silicone muffin pan, so I probably don't need to use it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna spray each of my little wells with some of this. You could also use Pam or just whatever oil you prefer and just wipe it down with a paper towel, whatever. But some sort of food lubricant. We're also gonna need four ounces of prosciutto. And again, you could use ham of some other kind. You could use whatever tickles your fancy. We got some baby spinach here, and we're gonna use six eggs because today we're gonna make six egg cups. However, as I said, you can double this, triple this, whatever you need. If you're not Whole30, you could maybe consider throwing some shredded cheese on top of them as well, either before they bake or after as like a nice little garnish. Even if you're just dairy-free, there's tons of dairy-free cheeses that you could put in here as well. Follow Your Heart makes amazing shredded Parmesan and they make a really nice feta also that would probably go great with this. But I'm gonna make them super simple, super basic, and I'm gonna leave all of the zhuzhing up to you. So as I mentioned, I do have a little silicone pan here and I'm only gonna make the six. So I'm gonna spray them down before we get going. 
and I've got a metal tray underneath. This is entirely optional, but I feel like it's gonna be sturdier rather than pulling this in and out of the hot oven. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for my own sake because I'm pretty accident prone in the kitchen and just in life in general. So pretty much we're gonna take a piece of our prosciutto, ta-da, and we're going to mold it into the cup shape. So this is gonna form sort of a barrier between the pan and our egg. It's gonna be our little cup that holds everything together. Now the recipe said to use the four ounces for the six cups, but I, it's looking like I'm gonna have some ham left over, which again, that's totally fine because I've got plenty of spinach and I've got plenty of eggs. So you can just keep making them until you feel you've had enough. I really do love the idea of this for a meal prep especially because I tend to forget to eat breakfast or lunch <laughs> because I don't have time to cook or I get so caught up in what I'm doing during the day that I don't really want to stop the momentum I've built. I know that sounds like I have a problem, huh? But <laughs> I'm sure that a lot of us can relate. And so having stuff like this prepped and ready to go so that I can just grab it and eat. Honestly, I might not even bother reheating it. I might just eat them cold from the fridge. Uh, that's gonna be a lifesaver. That's gonna be the difference between whether I have breakfast or lunch on any given day or not. So actually it's looking like this four ounces of prosciutto is going to give me precisely the six slices. So that works out nicely. Obviously your mileage may vary because depending on what brand you purchase, they might package it differently. But I certainly did get lucky where the amount I opened is gonna end up being exactly the amount I need. So now that we've got our nice little prosciutto cups going, I'm gonna open up my spinach. And this is baby spinach, but you can use whatever is easiest for you to procure. And I'm just gonna get three or four leaves and put them in each of my prosciutto cups. You don't want it overflowing, but you do want a nice little bed of spinach in there. Oop, that one's a little big, so I'm gonna switch that one out. I personally am not a huge fan of the stem sticking out like that, so I'm gonna give mine a little trim. If you don't mind it, then by all means, do you, whatever makes your life easier. Ease is the name of the game here. We're cooking for a crowd in a short time, right? So that's what we're here for. Next, we're gonna crack an egg into each of the muffin cups. Mind you, our oven is still preheating, so it's looking like we're gonna be ready to go at the same time as our oven. So that just makes this extra, extra easy. Boop, just like that, perfect. Everything fits just right. That spinach leaf kind of escaped, but that's fine. It gives it some character, right? So at this point, my oven actually just beeped to let me know it's ready. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper onto the eggs because I feel like that's a non-negotiable. Mind you, I'm meal prepping these for me right now. If you are serving these in like a brunch type setting, maybe you'd prefer to leave the seasoning till the end and have each person season to their liking. Some people need less salt, etc., etc., for medical reasons. So you know your audience, do what you gotta do to make it right. Now, if you're just serving it so that people can grab, bite, and go, I would pre-season personally. We're now gonna bake for 12 to 15 minutes until we achieve our desired doneness. So for a soft centered egg, we would do about 12 minutes. If you want a firmer center, we'd do 15. They are gonna continue to firm up a little bit once you remove them from the oven, so keep that in mind as far as like the level of doneness you're trying to achieve here. I'm going to do, let's, let's call it somewhere in the middle. Let's do 13 and a half minutes. I experiment so you don't have to. All right, friends, I ended up actually cooking mine for 22 and a half minutes. That's how long it took 
For me, I feel like the white was properly cooked through, but it still gave me a nice jammy looking yolk. So again, just keep checking, keep looking because your oven might be different than mine. Mine are gonna scoop right out, it looks like. If yours gets stuck, just go ahead and run a butter knife along the edge and it should hopefully cooperate with you a little bit. Now mind you, I'm touching mine with clean hands and I'm the one that's gonna be eating them anyways, but you might wanna use some gloves or something. So that's gonna be my portion <laughs> right now. It's looking very, very nice. I'm gonna give this a little slice so we can see the inside. This would be great with some like gluten-free bread. Oh man, I think I might have some gluten-free toast actually. So I might go with that. See, I think that's good as far as doneness. And I'll go ahead and I'll give it a taste. I mean, it's prosciutto, egg, and spinach. You can probably imagine what this tastes like, but all the same. Amazing, obviously. I think I'm gonna take advantage of my warm oven and put a couple slices of this in there as well to sop up that yolk. So again, super, super simple recipe. An easy way to make sure that all of your guests have something filling and hearty that they can eat. Lots of protein, lots of good fats here. This is going to be a fantastic addition to your Sunday brunch spread. Now I'm gonna make my toast. I'm gonna have my little decaf cold brew here. I'm gonna enjoy my egg cups and I hope that you will enjoy them as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye!